Hey guys and welcome back to the Lit Shop. I'm gonna be working on old gal because tomorrow I got something exciting going on I got another video shoot with another big youtuber and that big youtuber is Autotop NL so tomorrow morning on a Monday really early I'm going to the border of Germany I'm gonna meet up with uh, I think Max or Martijn from Autotop NL and then we're gonna do a feature on my car but first before I can go there well I need to wait till tomorrow obviously but I also need to work on the car a little bit because I think we're maybe gonna pass the 300k an hour and my side skirt are held on by two bolts at the moment. So I think I need to make some more brackets to uh, hold on the side skirt while going that fast and maybe make some little brackets to reinforce the bumper a little bit more. So we need to make the car ready. I'm gonna put it up in the air, check some stuff. I'm gonna make the brackets for the side skirts and I'm gonna make some uh, things to hold the bumper on there. And then the rest should actually be fine. Maybe do some little uh, fluid check, but I think the car should be fine and then obviously it needs a wash but I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning or when I arrive at the location we're gonna meet up but I'm not sure about that yet so for now let's put it up in the air So my plan is to make some support brackets that bolt onto the skirt and bolt onto the front fender or the rocker of the car itself so that it's held on by more than just the two bolts on the outside. And that's all that's holding my skirt on and it hasn't flown off yet and we did 240k an hour with it. So it may just be fine but I want to make some support brackets to secure it to the car even more. back on the ground and I checked everything underneath everything is tight everything should be fine and I installed the little brackets to hold the skirts in place because I don't have footage of it but uh, one time on the way back from a holiday we went to France and on the way back in Mexico I did a little race with an Audi and I was doing 260k an hour and my side skirt flew up and uh, tapped on the windshield and let me know that he was almost falling off so I don't want that happening again especially not with an auto top and L shoot Never actually, I never want that happening. But car should be fine, so I'm just gonna clean it up on the inside and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna wash the car, drive over there and then we're gonna have to shoot. And I'm really excited. It's gonna be the second shoot with a bigger channel. And I hope that's gonna bring more new people to the Lit Shop, to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. Make sure to subscribe down below for future content because I do have my coilover set for the Lexus IS200, so that's coming up. And I want to do uh, a lot of other cool stuff. I'm going to weld an exhaust for a, a Nissan Stagia for an RB25 Neo. So that's going to be cool. But for now, uh, I'm going to clean out the Nissan and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning when we leave for Autotop and
because it's really windy here but we just made it to the place where we are supposed to meet up with Autotop and Elsa and I was well, waiting for them to show up and then I think we're going to another location to start shooting but we made it on time we were supposed to be here at 9 a.m. and I was here 8.54 so that's right on time and I'm pretty proud of that because that usually never works out so now let's wait for Autotop and Elsa and shoot a really cool video The guys just arrived and they put a bunch of GoPros in the car so they can film every uh, little nook and cranny of the drive. And I'm about to go on the Autobahn and do the 100 to 200 and maybe even go over 300 but that depends on the road because it's still a bit damp and the sun is not directly on it so I don't think I have the grip. But we'll see but <laughs> let me show you all the GoPros. <laughs> we got one over there, that's mine actually, the one I'm using. We got one over there, we got one for my head a bit later and we got the drag in there to record all the speed runs. So yeah, I'm excited and it's a bit nerve wracking but I think we'll be fine and I'm gonna film with the, my GoPro, well actually not mine. Anthony, thank you that I can borrow it but I'm gonna film as well so you can see the drive uh, inside the car and I can let you know how fast we're going and let's just do it.
Nissan may be a bit down on power, not sure, because it did a 9.9, .9, uh, 100 to 200, so 60 to 120, and it's not bad, but it should be better, so I don't know if it's down on power or the DCT uh, takes away more power than I thought. It's not too bad, but I was expecting more, so I'm not sure if the engine is down on power or not. But it's still driving fine, it's doing fine, so we'll see. We're going to the second location now to do the review video. So this was the Autobahn run. And we're not sure if we're going to use the Autobahn run because, well, it was a bit down on power. It's still not too bad, of course, and it still sounds great. But for now, uh, second location, review video, and then it's back home. We just got back from the drive where Max drove it and what do you think of it? Amazing, amazing. So Still much car, drama, it? <laughs> uh, so much drama. I love the sound of the 1JZ, uh, the, the, the flamethrower through the, through the hood is amazing. Yep. Uh, that it, gets you at night. Yeah. You find yourself a lot on the rev limit. I can imagine that yeah. it will be scary at night. Yeah, it's cool. So for the footage uh, of Max driving the car, you should check out Autotop NL, their channel, and of course subscribe. Also, if you're new here, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to work now. We had a great time, and I Definitely. think the video is going to be really cool. So I'm going to drive back to work, and I'll see you guys at the next one.